Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, AFC Curtis, and I'm Curtis, and today we're gonna to be doing the ups and downs video special, and this week we're gonna take a look at this past weekend in the Canadian Premier League, and I'm gonna look at every single team, give them an up if they did good, and give them a down if they didn't do so well last weekend. Um, there was one team that didn't play last week, and they got a buy, and they will get a buy from this week's up and down grading, and that was the Cavalry FC, but it doesn't matter for them because, I mean, they're sitting atop of the table, halfway down this uh, spring season, in their perfect 5-0, 15 points, first place in the league, probably cruising to a spring league title victory. Maybe, possibly, there's maybe another two teams, or at least definitely another team that could catch them, which we'll talk about later in this video. But let's get things started with our first up. Now my first up goes to a team we haven't seen in what feels like forever, and that is Valor FC. They played this past Sunday in Edmonton on the road, got the win, picked up the W, picked up the three points to stay in third place in the table for the spring season. And it was also a really much needed win because they came into the, that week and a half, two week break that they just finished up on a loss. They're a pretty bad loss 2-0 to Forge FC at home, and they're kind of dropping some points in some of the matches that maybe I thought they should have at least got a draw in. in the month of May but now they're starting off the month of June on the right foot on the road getting the win they're one of the better road teams already in the Canadian Premier League by the way getting the 1-0 win. They had possession for over half the match, or for majority of the match, I should say. They had some good shots on that. They had some good chances. And man, Michael Petrasso coming back uh, for the first time since I believe that we last seen him back in May 8th in Calgary when he played against the Cavs there for Valor. So, I mean, he was a much needed um, a boost to the uh, offense for sure. This time got a huge assist on that Ali Moosey goal. And hopefully this is the start of something special for Ali because he's a type of player that we know if you can unlock him, could be a big game changer for Valor FC or any CPL club and that's why a couple clubs were chasing him this past offseason but Valor got him and now he's here he got his first goal in the CPL that just this past weekend in that 1-0 win so a big win for Valor FC and not only that but it's also three big points toward the uh, CONCACAF League qualification little minis table tournament there they got going on between them FC Edmonton who they just beat and uh, Forge FC so this is a huge win hopefully this is a turnaround to kind of finish off the spring season on a high note down. My first down unfortunately has to be given out to Northern Alberta's FC Edmonton. What a rough week it was last week playing their fourth and fifth match of the campaign. Getting shut out in both of them and losing. They played last week midweek in Hamilton against Forge. Lost that one 2-0. Really rough go of things right there for them. And then this past Sunday at home against Valor FC they went on to lose 1-0 with letting in a goal with about 10-15 minutes left in that match which sucks for them. They didn't really have possession in that Sunday match. But actually interesting fact though they had 18 shots on Sunday against Valor FC only four of them actually hit the target so that's pretty incredible a lot of them were blocked by the Valor defense but obviously that just goes to show you recently that uh, FC Edmonton is looking like they're just having a lot of trouble finding the offense finding the goals and now five matches in they're about halfway down the spring season they're sitting second last in the league table have and have only scored two goals the entire five match uh, five matches they've played the two goals coming in the first game of the season when they went on the road and won in Winnipeg 2-1 since then they got a 0-0 draw in the second match and spent the last three matches losing and getting shut out in all of them so now a three game losing streak a four game Game goal is Trout. Something's got to turn around for them, hopefully soon for you Eddie fans out there, but a rough week nonetheless last week, and that's why FC Edmonton is a down. Up. My next up here goes to the HFX Wanderers. What a week they did, or had pulled off last week, just turning things around. I kind of feel the last couple ups and downs videos have kind of put them a lot as a down, just because they've had potential to win games, they've dropped points, they've got losses, but last week they made up for it with getting a draw midweek uh, against York 9 and a 1-1 draw. Actually, kind of almost put them as a down just because they did drop points in that match. I really thought they were the, kind of the better of the two sides and should have won that match. Peter Shala, by the way. Oh my God, what a shout out or shout out to him because he was fantastic last week. Uh, he actually came second in my AFC Curtis Gem of the Week runnings this week. Uh, I'll tell you who ends up winning later in this episode. But yeah, Peter Charlotte looked fantastic on Wednesday's match. He even looked pretty good on Saturday as well in that big win against Pacific FC. Um, Luis Pereira came back from injury midweek, helped them. Uh, I think just being there helped them elevate themselves. They played a lot better. Charlotte got the goal, almost got a brace um, on Wednesday's 1-1 one -one draw there but they could have won that match that was the point that they kind of dropped the two points I thought they were the better they should have won and then on Saturday at home against Pacific FC there they were down one no coming into the half even though they're the better side in the first half came back out in the second half 
with Dan Lennon and negativity in the room, went out there and played a really good second half, scored the comeback goal, tied at one, and then scored the game winner at the end. Uh, Akeem Garcia, what a stud that guy is turning out to be for the HFX Wonder, as well as Luis Pereira coming out playing pretty big. And Peter Shallow, like I said, again on Saturday, had a pretty good game. Not as good as maybe the Wednesday game, but had a pretty good still game on the Saturday there. And, and Christian Oxner too on Saturday. What a crazy pickup win there for him. Did great in that match against Pacific FC. So a huge win for the HFX Wonders on Saturday. They got a draw on Wednesday last week, so they picked up four points last week. At the time, they were coming into Sunday before Valor played this past Sunday. They actually were jumped from, I think it was four, fifth or sixth in the league, all the way to third in the league. But then because Valor won, they did drop the fourth. But still, they're mid-table right now at fourth. That's a pretty good up there for uh, HFX Wanderers. So this is only hopefully for them a trending in the right direction. And that's why this week they're an up down. Now my next down goes to the team that just can't seem to catch a break. And that is York 9 FC from stumbling into the season, having a rough uh, road swing there to start of the season for the entire first month on the road, not even getting their home opener until late, late in the month of May, uh, not getting a result at their home opener as well, and still looking for their first win in the Canadian Premier League. They're seeing a bottom of the Canadian Premier League spring season table, which kind of sucks for them which you know it really sucks because they got good goalkeeping i think they got good defenders they're just having a rough time finding offense and scoring more than about a goal a game Gatas is looking really good he got the pk goal last week against the hfx wanderers in that 1-1 draw other than that though they, they did kind of they started off kind of well but they kind of dissipated as the game went on second half really wasn't their ball game and at the end of the day they got the 1-1 draw which is still kind of a positive that at least they got the point from there and Gattas is developing into a really good striker for for the York 9 team there um, other than that though I think that they were down overall last week and this is a team that needs to start to look ahead and start to build up some chemistry and some confidence for that fall season they could still win the fall season maybe not so much the spring season but unfortunately last week York 9 is a down up my last up from last week goes to Forge FC and they're the second hottest team right now in the Canadian Premier League riding a three match win streak now and scoring by bunches in those matches. I think they're one of the better offensive clubs right now if not the best offensive club in terms of goal scoring now in the Canadian Premier League and my, my god Tristan Borges oh my god killed it again getting a goal and an assist and that huge huge win uh, against uh, FC Edmonton to keep the streak alive to keep it themselves in the running for the spring league title unfortunately though they have played two more matches than Cavs so unless Cavs drop a couple matches toward the end I don't really know if uh, Forge FC can come back and win the Spring League title. If not, if they keep the pace that they're going right now throughout the 18 match fall season, I can see them for sure winning then the fall season and, and going to play the Cavs in the, in the championship. If the Cavs do somehow win the uh, Spring season campaign. It's not over yet. They still have three more matches for Forge FC in the month of June here. If they win all three of them, chances are they could still qualify for that. I think now it looks like they might be with their pace if they keep everything up and the momentum going. I think they will qualify for the CONCACAF League for the summer which could end up ultimately hurting their spring or their fall season because of you know having to play all those extra matches midweek might not might end up hurting the quality on the weekends but overall I think Forge FC right now is in a great place they've picked up things up here in the last half of the spring season because of that they're second in the Canadian Premier League only two points behind the Cavs so like I said they're on the heels of the Cavs they need to keep going Kyle Becker just played a really good match the last two matches actually Becker has played really well in but like I said Tristan Borges is turning into like an early Canadian Premier League superstar here getting a goal and an assist uh, this past week in that 2-0 win against FC Edmonton so Forge FC right now is a huge up for last week down unfortunately here my last down has to go to Pacific FC I mean kind of like York 9 right now they can't really seem to catch a break they've been kind of trending down since winning that first very first game of the year they kind of been trending down finding it a little bit hard I think to score goals too um, kind of like York 9 as well uh, the defenders have done I think pretty well as well as the goalkeeping for Pacific FC their, their midfielders are kind of coming in and contributing they got a really young midfield there and they're really fastly uh, pretty fast at least developing and getting better I think Taryn Campbell showed that this past Saturday scoring that really nice goal there for Pacific FC there unfortunately though they couldn't hold on in the second half let the Wanderers come back in and lose that one two to one if they didn't let that uh, penalty kick goal toward the end of the match in 
or if they didn't take a penalty in the box there, you know, I think they probably would have come out with a 1-1 draw, which they would have got a point. Uh, not really a whole lot good enough though for me to make them an up this week. Unfortunately, they did get the loss. I dropped three points and they're now among the bottom of the league. And unfortunately, because of all that, Pacific FC, unfortunately, and I'm sorry Lakeside boys, but unfortunately, they're gonna have to be down this week. All right, guys, before I let you go here, let's talk about the AFC Curtis Gem of the Week. So my pick, my player of the week here, uh, my channel, and my pick this week, I was gonna be Peter Shala because he looked fantastic last Wednesday, but then I thought about it and I watched all the other matches. And at the end of the day, unfortunately, he did get edged out by the first ever two-time Gem of the Week, and that is Forge FC's Tristan Borges, getting a goal and an assist this past Wednesday in that 2-0 win against, Ford, or against uh, FC Edmonton. So that was pretty big there. Tristan Borges right now is turning into a superstar in the Canadian Premier League. He now leads the league in goals. He's probably maybe could potentially win the Golden Boot. He's already got four goals on the year. I believe he's sitting at about two assists, which ties him with the league leader in assists, which is pretty cool. And overall, I think every game has gotten better and better and better right now in the Canadian Premier League. The last two or three games, he's played at a crazy high level. He's upper echelon talent right now in the Canadian Premier League. And if he keeps playing this way, I don't really know how much longer we'll get to see him in the Canadian Premier League before a big club in Europe or even down in the MLS comes and swoops him up um, from us here. But I just enjoy him because he's playing fantastic right now. Great young footballer. Hopefully we see him on the Canadian men's national team someday soon. But this week, he is my AFC Curtis Gem of the Week. All right, guys, that was my ups and downs this week. Let me know your ups and downs down in the comment section below. What grade would you give each and every team this past weekend an up or a down? Let me know down in the comment section below. And also let me know who your AFC Curtis Gem of the Week should have been, or my pick, I guess, should have been, or just let me know who your Gem of the Week is down in the comment section below. Is it Tristan Borges? Is it Peter Shala? Let me know down in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more content just like this, Maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. And quick fact too, if you click that little bell notification button beside the subscribe button, you actually get notified each and every week when I drop a brand new episode just like this one. You can be one of the first to like it, to watch it, and of course to share it with all your friends and family. And guys, you can also click that link down in my description below. It's a really good link. It's for the northernstarting11.com website. You're gonna wanna click that now. There's a bunch of great soccer related podcasts as well as vidcasts just like this over there. And it's all by Canadians for Canadians. This is a perfect website if you love the Canadian Premier League, if you love the Canadian men's or women's national teams, Click that link down below. You're gonna get a whole bunch of information from articles, podcasts, vidcasts, all down there. So you wanna click that right now. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching.